Chapter 12. The Sensory Analysis of the Wine Finishing Processes Before bottling the wine, it must be clarified, stabilized, and filtered. Clarification This is when the wine is completely clean of foreign substances that do not create any turbidity. This is a process which occurs gradually throughout all of the phases of winemaking. Clarification leaves the wine completely clean. Stabilization. It is not only about the wine being clean, but about it staying clean over time. To do this, there are certain physical and chemical processes that prevent the wine from any possible deterioration, primarily to heat, cold, or aeration. Filtering. This is done prior to bottling and serves to make the wine totally clean. The filtering process gets rid of foreign particles in the wine, but also eliminates beneficial particles such as colouring matter, aromas and tastes. There must be a balance between more or less aggressive types of filtering so that the wine is just right. In Masset del Geo, we believe in a light filtering to eliminate the foreign particles in the wine, but we do not want to eradicate too many of the natural components of the wine, such as colouring or flavouring matter as this makes the wine taste and look better. But sometimes it gives a wine with sediment. The sediment is a completely natural component of wine, and we know that it is beneficial to the natural matter which makes wine good for our health. All wines have some very small particles that are virtually impossible to remove. On the other hand, some red wines which have been aged for lengthy periods in barrels or in the bottle, the formation of deposits or deposits of colouring matter is almost unavoidable. Wine precipitation. This is a natural phenomenon resulting from the failure to intervene aggressively in the process of wine development and aging via strong or intense clarifications. They are not defects in the wine, but a sign of quality and natural winemaking methods. Over the years, there are essentially two types of sediment. The tartrates, and colouring matter. Tartrates are natural crystallizations emanating from the grape. The most common type is potassium bitartrate. These are tartaric acid salts which precipitate in the bottom of the bottle due to the action of the cold. The easiest way to deal with sediment is by decanting the wine. Decanting the wine. To decant the wine properly we must treat the bottle with care, without moving or shaking it. Once uncorked, remember that what you need to move is the corkscrew, not the bottle, and then decant the wine gently into a clear glass decanter. When the liquid comes out cloudy, then we stop decanting and leave the sediment in the bottle. However, it should be made clear that sediment is not waste. The sediment, or lees, have extensive health benefits and can be used in different ways. They are used in therapeutic treatments, and in countries like Portugal, it is customary to eat them with bread. Sensory analysis of wines. In a wine tasting, we mainly use our senses of sight, smell, and taste. Sight examines the external aspect of the wine and gives us a first clue as to its type, age, structure, etc. Though not a decisive factor on its own, the importance lies in the fact that it guides the tasting visually and the taster facilitates the task of focusing on comparing wine to other wines he or she recalls. Smell helps us to identify the personality of the wine. It allows us to understand the aromas as an expression of everything that the fruit has gained during its growth, ripening and perfecting. Taste, palate, gives us information about the character of the wine. It helps us to understand the nature of the wine in our mouth, such as its structure, its skeleton. The wine in the mouth will tell us about the potential that the wine has to evolve according to its fruit, as well as about the demands of the vine and how the grapes were grown and the wine was made.